They didn't give me anything either! Nope! It's too late for that now! The first item that we are going to be making is a Lux Rose box. Now you've seen these all across social media and you know how expensive they can get. So I decided to DIY my own for this Valentine's Day. All you need is a box, whatever shape, size, or form, some styrofoam, and some fake flowers. You can use real flowers too, but you are going to have to wet your styrofoam so they can last a little bit longer. But I decided that I wanted mine to last forever. So all I'm doing is cutting my styrofoam to best fit the area inside of my box try to fill up most of it as you can so using some wire cutters now i use scissors here but because i couldn't find my wire cutters but then i got frustrated so as you can tell my boyfriend brought the wire cutters so try to use wire cutters if you have some to cut all the stems because it's a lot easier so i'm cutting the flowers pretty lengthy i'm not making them short because if they're too long i can just trim them instead of making them too short i'm keeping all the extra leaves and the extra stems that come with the flowers because i'm going to be using those for later so i'm going to be placing my flowers all through the outside of my box first and then having them kind of pop up a little bit and trying to place them all close together because I don't want any spaces now as you can see I'm kind of placing my stems diagonally so they can kind of pop up by the way this heart shaped box is from Target and it was only four dollars I had originally gotten a two dollar one from Walmart but I opted for this one instead because it was much much cuter I'm going to be leaving the inner heart of my box open because I'm going to be putting fake red roses in the middle to create a heart shape now you can put whatever you want in the middle whatever color or you can even put real roses if you like at the last minute i decided that i wanted to add a little extra to my box so i super glued some ribbon on the bottom and i just added a bow This next gift is quite simple but very cute and thoughtful now all you need is some white paint and a wooden frame i got mine from walmart for only 97 cents it's a four by six now i'm just going to be using my white paint to customize my frame and i'm going to be painting the front and the back and all the crevices of my frame at the bottom of my frame i'm going to be writing a special date now you can use whatever you want a birthday an anniversary whatever you like and i'm going to be using calligraphy font to write my date i chose june 28th now if you mess up don't worry about it just use a white eraser and just erase the font now with black paint i'm just going to be tracing my font all the way across and just simple and try my best to make it neat even though it's coming out really crooked, but I can't do much about it. I'm already painting over it. Now using the leftover leaves and the little stems that I had gotten from my rose bouquets, I'm just going to be kind of customizing my frame to whatever I want. So I'm just going to be using two leaves, glue them together, and I'm going to be using two stems to glue those on top of my leaves. So just like the night sky frame concept, I'm going to be doing the same thing except I'm going to be using the moon faces and I just went online and typed in the day and the year and I grabbed the moon face and I went ahead and printed it out and I'm just going to go ahead and put it inside my frame and that is it. This next one is more of an accent gift. Now it's very easy to make. All you need is a cardboard letter. I got mine from Hobby Lobby for about $2 and you're gonna need some white paint. I'm just going to be painting my entire letter white, front and back and all of the crevices, even though I'm not going to be using the back, I'm only gonna be using the front. But I don't want any extra pieces that are not white showing. So I'm going to be using two bouquets. Both of these bouquets are from Walmart as well. They're only 97 cents. So I'm going to be using some pink roses and some just white palms. And also using the stems from the leftover white roses. I'm going to be using that as well. And I'm only going to be placing my 
flowers in the way that I want. And I'm also going to be cutting some of the leaves on the branches to utilize and I'm just going to be placing the flowers in the order that I want or the way that I want. You can use whatever color and you can pretty much place the flowers in whatever way you want. Fill all the extra gaps, I'm going to be placing my stems and my leaves in those areas. Now just using a hot glue gun, all you need to do is pretty much just glue the flowers in the way you want and voila! For this next one, you are going to be using some white shoes. You can use whatever you want. It's more of a customizable gift. Now, I'm just using my old Sperry's because, you know, again, your girl is trying to save some money and she wasn't about to go buy some new white shoes if she already had some old ones to customize. So I just got this idea off of Pinterest. I'm just making two little faces on each of my Sperry. And I'm going to be using black paint and red paint to trace over my pencil. Now, if you're trying to erase on your white shoes, make sure you use a white eraser to erase so you do not leave pink erase buds behind and you can use whatever design you want i even thought about writing love in so many different languages all across my shoes but i wanted something simple and something cute i tried washing my shoes as best as i can as you can tell they're still kind of brown but like i said i wasn't about to go buy some new shoes if you want to you can go ahead and buy some that you can also go to hobby lobby and buy some white canvas shoes now when you're painting and you erase here you go with the grade For the bottom of my shoes, I wanted to keep it simple but cute. I wanted to write a little message. So with a pencil, I went ahead and wrote love always and I put a little heart at the end. With black paint, I went ahead and traced over love always and just colored in with red paint the heart. the other side of my shoe i just went ahead and drew three little hearts and just went ahead and painted them with red paint i was thinking of maybe writing a special anniversary but i decided to not do that instead that is it for today's video don't forget to smash the subscribe button to join my youtube family and also follow me on social media don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and turn on the post notification bell that way you guys can get notified every time i post a new video and like always i will see you guys in the next one bye